Welcome to Lessons from History, exploring the wisdom history, mankind's story, has to teach us. Now today's event is the Second Punic War. Now can you remember the date? That's correct, 218 to 201 BCE. Well done. Now the mnemonic device for that event was an elephant smashing its head into the Alps and the cracks forming the date to represent, you know, Hannibal marching over the Alps and his use of elephants. To further embed this in the mind, just imagine the sound of an elephant uh, that it would make as it charges towards a wall like this. So what lesson can we take away from this nugget of history? Well, I think one lesson is your enemy will show you where you are weakest. During the First Punic War, Rome's successes came from copying the tactics of the enemy uh, after they were defeated by them. They changed their spirits, their swords, their infantry tactics. They also learned the hard way that their ships and navy were terrible, so they copied a wrecked Carthaginian ship. However, while their ships may have been made better, that didn't mean they could fight better at sea, and they lost quite a lot. So then they developed an arm that allowed them to lock on to Carthaginian ships, and then the superior Roman infantry would board the ship and fight better that way. Over time, the Carthaginians did the same with their infantry, ca uh, casting Romans out of Carthage with better tactics each time. In the Second Punic War, Hannibal Barker learned from Roman tactics and defeated them several times in battles that are still studied today. However, the Romans also learned. Scipio fought Hannibal at Zama and adapted his own infantry tactics to make sure that the elephants that Carthage used were worthless. Now to be clear, I'm not saying we learn how to defeat our enemies by going out there and fighting wars. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm applying what kind of happened throughout the, the Punic Wars themselves to, to give you some wisdom as an individual. And what we should take away here is that mistakes should not cause you to hunker down and hate yourself and be ashamed. From this history, we can actually learn that mistakes are only temporary failures. This lesson isn't so you can become some sort of alpha in your group. Uh, or nonsense like that. No, it's instead teaching you that mistakes can make you stronger if you accept that you did make a mistake. Rome and Carthage accepting their mistakes and trying to learn from them made them stronger overall. Now Carthage ultimately lost because Rome did slightly better in learning those mistakes, but it's you can apply that kind of lesson to yourself as well. Not to create an empire, because empires are terrible, but let your mistakes, your enemy, teach you. In the comments, put your own lesson that you learned from this historical event. Maybe it was always to take wine into the Alps or get bigger relevance. Whatever you can think of. But let me know. Thanks for watching Lessons from History. Goodbye.